Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2018 video tutorial. I want to do that exercise which I did in draft side in NanoCAD, now in AutoCAD, so you can compare and you will see for yourself it's really, really very, very similar. So let's have some fun with AutoCAD 2018. So if you start with a standard template, you will have only one layer, layer zero. So I want to add some more layers. Go to the layer properties. I've already anchored this on the left side. And make a new layer, call it contour. And it should be red. Same procedure, if it's selected, it will make co a copy of this one if you press new. Or if nothing selected, that's not possible. So that will be a copy of layer 0. I will call this dimensions. And that should be green. Another one which I call center lines. This should be cyan. And I want to have a different line type. In this version, and already in 2017, there was the possibility to define uh, the new center lines and use the new center line. So I will do this in this video as well. Okay, next uh, I need one for text. This might be yellow. Okay, another one for the hedge patterns. And this might be blue. Okay. Now for the center lines, there is a command which is called center, li center layer. And if you specify your layer which you used in the layer manager, and that would be center lines, then if you do a center line, it will be automatically placed on the correct layer. In this case, on the sign one. Okay, now let's go for a rectangle. In AutoCAD, you don't have to use an add because it's already in the relative mode, in the dynamic mode. So you just can type 120, column 80, enter. Same procedures in NanoCAD and draft side. I will draw a circle right there and radius will be 15. Then I want to move it, so go to move, select that object, right click to end that selection, specify the base point, that could be this one, and the distance might be 40 column 50. Then I did the fillets, so I go for the fillets, right click, I want to do multiple ones, Right click, the radius for the first one will be 50. And there's even a preview in this program, that's nice. Right click, radius 30. On this corner, right click, radius 10. And this one, that one, this one, that one right click enter now another circle you could do it with tracking lines like this radius would be 25 then move it to the correct place move select the circle right click to finish the selection you could use any point a space point, for example, just click there, and then if you give the correct 
vector, it will be placed on the right spot. So this would be minus 35, column 35, enter. Now this altogether should be placed so that the origin point of that one is the intersection point between these two lines. So go for move, select them all, right click. The base point would be in this case, control right click, the intersection point, but the apparent intersect between this line and that line. And this should be placed onto zero zero, but absolute zero zero. And I'm in the dynamic mode, so I have to add a hashtag zero column zero enter. Double click the scroll wheel and you see it's right there. Now let's move these elements onto the red layer. Contour layer. And again, this doesn't change the active layer. Now let's go to our dimensions layer and there is something else right here. I go to annotate and you see you can use the current layer or you can switch for the dimensions to an extra layer that would be dimensions now even if zero is active the dimensions will be put right there on this dimensions layer there is a intelligent dimensions command i will use the classic ones linear from this point to that point 120 repeat like this 80 press enter to repeat that from the center point to that end point 50 enter center point that end point 40 enter this one that would be 35 enter to that end point and that would be 35 as well so I've got all my linear dimensions go for diameter select enter select now the radius right here 50 and uh, 10 zoom in so it doesn't snap onto the endpoint of that arc and this should be placed right here very nice. Now to break that dimension line you have to use dim break, right click multiple, this one, that one, right click and select the dimension which breaks those two, this one, and I got my break in that dimension line. Now I want to have a text so we'll switch to the text layer add a single line text right here specify height right click right click for the angle t equals 5 enter enter and the text is there now for the center marks, these are associative and center mark. These center marks should get sign. See? That's very nice. There's a similar layer bef layer command, sorry, for the hatches. Yeah. 
and that's called HP layer hatch pattern layer and you could assign with that command HP layer the hatch pattern layer for these hatch patterns but right now I don't want to do it because I don't need it so what's left it would be nice but I think it's already so that the contour is at the front and I'm done so hope you could see the great similarities between these three programs if you liked it please give it a like leave a comment if you want to see more AutoCAD videos give it a like leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye